another edition of In Nature's Realm Vlog. Now today I'm going saltwater fly fishing and I'm going to a place that's only an hour's drive from Melbourne and that place is the Bowen River. Now the Bowen River is a fantastic estuary. It's got a great number of species of fish in there. It's got Australian salmon, it's got flathead, it's got silver trevally and it's got a very hard fish to catch and that's the mulloway. And people are of the belief in regards to mulloway that you can only catch them at night. Well that's not the case, especially here in the uh, Bowen River. You can catch mulloway during the day, but they are hard to catch. So we're going to give it a bit of a uh, fish today, see what we can catch because it's very seasonal. At different times of the year, different types of fish come in. I've even had elephant fish come in at uh, a certain time of the year and um, while I didn't catch an elephant fish they followed me fly and whoa this elephant fish that followed me fly it was big so there's a number of different species of fish that come in at different times of the year so let's see what we can catch today here on the Bowen River Here we are on the Bowen River and just starting fishing and getting out a fair cast or well, as long as I can possibly get it and um, retrieving with a, a medium type strip. Now sometimes the fish in the Bowen River, especially the Australian salmon, they can take when it's a slow retrieve or sometimes I might kick on if it's a fast retrieve so we need to um, experiment a bit with our retrievals okay now I'll show you the flight I've got on
in the cartridge and white coloration there and um, this is a great pattern um, for the Australian salmon and also for the silver trevally on the uh, within this uh, estuary and um, it works really well so um, while you can use a lot of different patterns um, I tend to sort of like go back to this color sometimes a, a gray and white can be good um, sometimes black especially if it's dirty um, but yeah, this one I always tend to go back to and have the most success is cartridge and white. So um, let's keep uh, getting that fly out there. There we go, good cast. is still high. I went by the uh, the tide on the internet and they said 11 o'clock would go from high to low and that definitely hasn't happened yet. So you really can't rely on them uh, tide, um, tide markers on the uh, internet. Got a, it's got to go to it's got to go stop and go to a low tide fairly soon and when it does that's when we can expect some of the fish to come up Buy, um, when you do buy your uh, fly fishing gear and particularly a fly line, um, make sure that the fly line is cold water rated, cold water rated, because if you get a tropical one that's um, designed for in a hot weather. I will come back a little bit later, especially when the tide drops further or begins to go to a low tide. Um, that's when we can expect the best fishing. So I'll see you back there. All right, now the tide has changed. Um, it is now going from high down to low. But the big problem is, have a look at the water. The water is absolutely filthy. So we've had a lot of recent rains and um, I would say that uh, in the inland section of the Bailen River has had a lot of rain and a lot of uh, soil and mud is mixed in with the water and uh, as soon as the tide goes out the actual river is putrid. So this is going to make things a lot difficult, going to make things very difficult but I'll persevere and see how I go. How visible is it? That's the question.
as the sun sets. Um, calling it a day, and um, yeah, heading back to the car. Uh, the water's just too dirty. Didn't realise that we had all the um, the bow and arrow inland had so much uh, rain. I didn't realise that. And it's the inland section of the river. It's very dirty. And um, as the tide goes out, it's creating very dirty conditions. But that's alright. As you can see, the tide's well and truly in. Probably well, still going in a little bit more, but uh, it'll turn back again. So, one. Um, oh, well, no fish, but that's fly fishing. And for me, I don't just do it for catching fish. I do it to be out. Great outdoors, smelling its fresh air, it's beautiful. Why would you want to be indoors when you can be out here? It's just magnificent. Well, hi everyone. Uh, the fishing on the, the Bowen River wasn't what I expected it to be. It was, uh, it was pretty hard fishing and um, wasn't successful in catching any of the species of fish that can be found in the in the estuary um, so I'm a bit disappointed with that but I've got some footage that I took probably about five years ago um, when I was when the conditions were a lot better uh, and um, I did catch a few fish so uh, have a look at this footage and it'll give you a bit of an insight into what the uh, Australian salmon are like in the in the river they're not big fish but occasionally they do become, uh, uh, you know, like you can get sort of like two pounders and so forth. So uh, have a look at this footage and, uh, and then we'll come back a little bit later.
So that was the um, Bowen River when conditions were a lot better. And um, in the future, I'll endeavour to do another episode on the Bowen River and um, show everyone out there what other species of fish can be caught out of this magnificent estuary. Now before I go, um, I talked in a previous issue of giving away a prize. Well, the prize that I'm going to give away um, and we'll do it in a future episode but this is what you can uh, win and that is a beautiful classic salmon fly in a wooden display box. Um, this fly is tied by myself and um, they're just absolutely fantastic to put up on the wall and show your friends and uh, you know and if you ever get a chance to uh, tie a classic salmon fly do it because they are just uh, absolutely incredible the uh, hard to tie which is a challenge um, and a lot of patience uh, is needed and um, they just they're just beautiful they look magnificent and as you can see um, in this four fly box um, I've got uh, some beautiful patterns there and um, as you can see they really are nice flies to look at and display so um, yeah I'll be giving away a single uh, classic salmon fly so for everyone to win this just put your name and your email address in the comment sections below and then um, in a future episode we'll draw it and then the uh, winner I'll mail out the uh, get your contact details um, privately and then I will mail this single classic salmon fly to you so until next time and next episode good fishing to you all and um, uh, have a great day Bye for now.